A new drama unfolding at this hour involving Comcast, NBC Universal, the American Cable Association <laughs> is taking aim at it. Yes, the American Cable Association and may seek to enlist a very big gun in this burgeoning broadcast battle. Charlie Gasparino joining us now with the exclusive details. By the way, I get a lot of comments on my glasses. Well, turn on the, the laser, the laser beams. People don't like them. <laughs> what are you looking at? I love them. Okay. I need them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got Dark a little... Dark restaurant. I got a little cold here. That's why I was off yesterday. The ACA... Oh, thanks for telling us that. Okay. Now we all feel sympathetic. I know, I know. The ACA is a lobby group that represents mid-sized cable operators. And listen, if you thought the NBC... Uh, Comcast purchase was over when the uh, when the uh, deal ran out uh, with the Justice Department a few months ago. It's not. They're still under scrutiny, and the Justice Department is is waiting, monitoring whether whether Comcast ever violates antitrust rules by using its content from NBC to screw over rival distributors. Now, what's going on is that the ACA, this lobby group representing rival distributors, mid-sized ones, is what we understand. They're mulling, writing a letter to Malcolm Dellerine, the head of the antitrust division, saying open up an investigation now they are using their price their their, their potential as a law as a massive company a massive distributor a, a monopoly maybe to squeeze the smaller rival cable distributors by by keeping or threatening to keep the NBCU content away from these rival distributors thus they have to pay up and what was interesting when we we're talking with people close to the ACA was well, like what's the difference between Comcast NBCU doing that and AT&T and Time Warner couldn't why don't you write a letter about AT&T Time Warner doing it and they said no 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 it's not quite the same thing the content of NBC is much more must-see TV than mm -hmm. the content of, of, of Time Warner. Yes, they have CNN, they have HBO. HBO, but guess what NBC has? They have sports, they have entertainment, they have Saturday Night Live. If you, if you want to exert price pressure on the smaller rival cable uh, distributors, they can do it and they are doing it and we believe they're violating the antitrust rules. Now, why, why haven't they, they sent this out yet? I think one reason they haven't sent it out is that we have the midterms coming out tomorrow, so they're just waiting for a new cycle to pass. Uh, they're dotting the I's, crossing the T's. They may not send out this letter, but from what I understand, they're, just, they're, they're more than halfway there to putting this out and ramping up the pressure on Comcast for the, for the Justice Department to issue what's known as a civil I'm investigative demand. I'm looking at the stock. Demand. It's down three-quarters of a percent yeah, on an uh, update in the market. Yeah, probably on this, um, partially on this. So but it, you're breaking it exclusively because I haven't seen it on the wires. No, no, no one else has this. This, okay. is what, this is why they pay me the small bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I mean, no offense. The market's up today, the stock is down. Uh, but I, I mean, so listen, we just have to put this in context. Justice Department already has Comcast, NBCU in its crosshairs. They hate the, the, the vertical model of distribution and content. That's why they're appealing AT&T Time Warner. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. This just ramps up the pressure on them a little more to start a new investigation into whether Comcast is violating antitrust rules, and it's not a good thing. We should point out one other thing on AT&T Time Warner. They picked the judges today for the, appeal, for the appeal, right? They're appealing the decision to let the, let the uh, Judge Leon's decision to mm -hmm. approve the deal. Justice Department is appealing it. They got a three-judge panel. Two of them are Dems. That is not good news for AT&T. Okay. Now, they may be free market Dems, but one was appointed by Clinton, one was appointed by, by Obama. Generally, they're more consumer-oriented. And they may just side with the government and upend that deal. So I'm just saying, that is something and to watch. And ironically, the government is propelled by Donald Trump, who right. doesn't like... It's, it's like a big strange, mix between Dems, Republicans. Strange bedfell. If there's one thing that liberals agree with Trump on, it's on this notion of antitrust with... with one line on General Electric, because he had a great story on Friday. Um, General Electric right now is still at $9 and uh, change, 47 cents. Well, another analyst came out and said it's a what a seven dollar stock, five, five dollar stock. stock. Even though he has a ten dollar call on it, he it mused sounds insane. About $5. Listen, I think you have to ask yourself if you are an investor. If they break this thing up, let's just say the new Larry Culp goes in there, sells separate companies out, right? Three separate companies, main three separate uh, entities. Is it isn't worth just nine dollars a share? I think it's those those are good businesses. It's got to be worth like fifteen, right? Yeah. Well, those glasses probably cost more than a share of GE. Liz, Charlie. I'll be watching you tonight with my glasses on. Oh. All right.